this valley they say you are leaving do not hasten to bid me adieu and remember the red river valley and the cowboy that's loved you so true Buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Why am I singing a cowboy song? Check out this cool, cool, cool little Carson J. Robison ukulele. Now, I'll tell you what, this is extremely, extremely rare. Uh, it's the only one I've ever found, and I can't find a record of these ever even being built. Now, what I did do is I've sold uh, three Carson J. Robinson guitars, okay? Now, Carson J. Robinson, let's start there. Carson J. Robinson was a, a radio star. He was the, one of the singing cowboys back in the 1920s and 1930s, and he wrote a ton of songs. I mean, I've got a list of songs you'll see in my ad uh, that, that uh, tell you about all the songs that he's done, and he was extremely popular. I mean, he was, uh, he was a pre-Roy Rogers uh, uh, who came in in the 40s and 50s. He was kind of the, the, uh, the guy who started it all. So uh, uh, Carson J. Robinson was so popular that they put uh, him on all sorts of different stuff, including guitars and apparently ukuleles. Now, when I, this thing showed up in my house, it's like, you got to be kidding me. So I got it, and I had several of my experts uh, look it over and say, wow, uh, that is really cool. And like the Gibsons, uh, or I'm sorry, like the uh, Carson J. Robinson guitars uh, from back then, they were made by Gibson. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Gibson. Gibson, back in the Depression area, they were making guitars that, that were not only branded uh, uh, Gibson, but they were busy making guitars for other manufacturers who uh, wanted to put their name on these guitars and have Gibson make them for them. I mean, Gibson was making the, the Kalamazoo guitars back then, the uh, Cromwell uh, uh, guitars, uh, the uh, Recording King guitars, the Corydon guitars, uh, all those were made by Gibson right there in the Gibson factory, and including these. Now, the Carson J. Robinson guitars were made to be sold in Montgomery Ward's catalogs. That's right. This is one of the uh, house brand guitars, and Montgomery Ward's was the ones who, uh, who had these guitars. Now, the other thing that someone pointed out to me that was really, really unique is this headstock. Now, when I got it, I said, wow, what is the deal? It's got this real uh, uh, carved sort of situation here in the, uh, in the headstock, and he says, look, if you notice, it's a W which stands for wards. So it's like, wow, I did not know that. That's very cool. So then you look at it and you go, this is pretty neat. It's got the, the cowboy here. It's got his signature here. Uh, it's got this little house and uh, the horsey, of course. And uh, it's in original shape. I mean, these tuners are just ancient. I was sitting here trying to get this thing tuned and they still work. Uh, they are very, very touchy, I will tell you that. And they tighten with these little screws in here. So, uh, you know, is this a working ukulele? I don't think I would perform with this, but it does work and it does tune. Uh, the finish is all original. Uh, it's black and then of course it's got the stencil on here. And then it's got this really cool mother of toilet seat uh, a fretboard on here with the original frets of course. And uh, it looks also very much Gibson-like. Gibson had some of these on some of their older guitars from the, uh, from the 30s as well. Uh, we've had a couple of them in the shop that had the same mother of toilet seat. And a lot of the other uh, guitars that we've had from back in that day also had that, including a lot of lap steel. As a matter of fact, I think maybe it was a Gibson lap steel that had the mother of toilet seat. But I mean, it's got the original uh, bridge. It's got uh, uh, the original binding. I mean, gosh, this thing is really, really cool. Uh, the neck is on there solidly. Uh, it's, you know, it's been used. I, I, all I did is really kind of clean it up a little bit. I really didn't want to do too much to it at all and, uh, and take any patina off this, uh, off this instrument. But, I mean, it is just really, really nice. And now you can tell I'm not a ukulele player, but I can strum some chords. <laughs> I've got a tune like a, uh, the first top uh, four strings of a guitar. So if you're a guitar player, yes, you can play ukulele just like Lawman. about that so I mean check it out I mean this thing is really really cute and what a piece of history I mean 
nobody else has one of these. I've tried to find them on the internet and they are just not out there. So this is a very, very rare, rare, rare instrument uh, with Carson J. Robinson's uh, signature on it. Now, if that wasn't cool enough, you're not gonna believe this, but yes, Lawman Guitars has even the original Gibe case. Now, uh, the Gibe case, we all know what they look like uh, for the guitars, and they look just like this, only smaller. I mean, look at this gigantic handle. It's no bigger than the handle on the guitars, but it's like half the size of this case because it's so tiny. But look at this gorgeous case. I mean, everything is here. The hinges, the latches, the leather handle. Uh, the hinges still work. Let's open it up, see what we got inside here. Oh wow, look at this. All right, so it's got the blue lining. Oh my goodness, it even has the uh, accessory box in here. I wanna really be careful, I don't wanna hurt anything. But oh goodness, even the little handle that opens it is here. I mean, this is really, really a nice piece. And especially to have the original case with it. I mean, uh, it does not have uh, the Gibe signature uh, inside it, but I think it's the, the little metal label would be too big for this little tiny case. So I gotta tell you, I, I was just thrilled when one of my finders showed up with this. It's like, do you know what this is? I'm going, I've never seen one, but I think I know what it is. And uh, 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 I hope my research is right. If somebody out there uh, can uh, dispute all my findings, please let me know. But I'm gonna call it a 1938 because uh, they made the Carson J. Robinson guitars between 1938 and 1941. So I'm gonna call it a 38 just because, okay? Uh, I also, by the way, if you're interested in any of this, I also have in my shop, and I've had for a while now, a Carson J. Robinson guitar that would go <laughs> remarkably well. What a beautiful little uh, a combo this would be, the guitar and the ukulele. Uh, what a great combo that would be for uh, someone who loves cowboy guitars. So check it out and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. But you know, while you're watching the, uh, the, the uh, demo here on YouTube, there's a little button down there that says subscribe. Just hit that. Just hit that little button right now. Come on, hit that button. All right, now, now you're subscribed. Now what that means is every month you're going to get five new demos from Lawman Guitars. And you know what? I'm gonna promise you that if they're not all vintage, there's certainly gonna be cool guitars. We only choose the coolest guitars that we can find, and 99% of them are vintage anyway. So if you like vintage guitars, you'll like what I send you. So check it all out and go to our website at www.lawmanguitars.com. I really appreciate you watching my demo today. Thanks a lot.